All right, today we're gonna talk about how to make your ex regret leaving you. And if you stick around until the end of this video, not only am I going to be explaining to you the psychology of regret, but we're gonna be giving you five real life things that you can do to help make your ex regret you, or at least raise the chances of your ex regretting you. But before we start the video, the first thing that I wanna tell you is make sure you hit that like button or subscribe button and the bell notification on YouTube to help us out a little bit so that we can get our videos featured more places. A lot of people when they go through a breakup end up coming to our website and trying to figure out how to make an ex miss them or regret them, but ultimately they're always trying to do one thing, and that's to improve the odds they have of getting their ex back. And regret is a gigantic part of that. But what's interesting is different genders view regret in different ways. In other words, men are more likely to regret these type of things and women are more likely to regret these type of things. What's important for you to understand coming into this, whether you're a male or a female, or your ex is a male or a female, is the type of things that they're a lot more likely to regret. According to Psychology Today, studies on gender differences in regret show the increased value that women put on relationships and how women may have more difficulty disengaging attention from past relationships. So overall, 44% of women surveyed in one study had romantic regrets versus just 19% of men. And we have personally found this to be pretty common among our own traffic patterns. It's no mistake that we do get more women coming through our businesses than we do men. Now, I always kind of chalked it up to the fact that men don't like to talk or think about breakups, when in reality, the truth is that women are a lot more likely to regret the breakups immediately after they occur than men are. Now, I've talked a lot about regret on this YouTube channel before and on my websites and podcasts before. And ultimately, I've always attacked regret in a lot of different ways, but I think when you really boil it down to its core, making someone regret a decision boils down to one singular concept. The easier it is to envision a different outcome, the more likely we are to regret the lost opportunity. So to boil it down to its simplest form, making an ex regret you or regret taking you for granted is mostly about making them romanticize about a potentially different outcome and that fuels the regret. Now, of course, the $1 million question is, well, how do I do that? Luckily for you, we've done extensive research in the field of regret and what kind of things that you will need to do to make an ex regret breaking up with you. And we boiled it down to five singular things. Basically, if you can do these five things, you give yourself the best chance possible to make an ex regret breaking up with you. Thing number one, identify the types of regret your ex is most likely to have. So according to Dr. James Tobin, there are really two types of regret, action-based regret and inaction-based regret. So what are those things? Regret for what one did not do, including missing or not taking advantage of opportunities when they arose, is an example of inaction versus regret for what one did, including mistakes or poor choices or missteps, is an action-based regret. So let's boil this down to breakups. We see a lot of inaction-based regrets among our success stories. In other words, the ex regrets the decision to break up with them after they've already broken up with them and realize the grass isn't greener so much on that other side. They start to envision the missed opportunities they had with that previous ex. Now, that's not to say that we don't see a lot of action-based regret. We do, especially in situations where you've been cheated on. An ex regrets how they cheated on you and how they ruined the relationship. They have a lot of self-loathing about that. A lot of times, another thing we see is when men break up with women who are pregnant. They really regret that decision later on because number one, they shouldn't have done that while their ex was pregnant. And number two is oftentimes it puts the two parties at odds so that they miss out on their child's life. So they have a lot of regret about the actions they took or how they treated their ex in the past. Now it's important for you to understand what type of category you're more likely to be in because that's the type of regret that you're going to have to put most of your effort 
behind. Real quick, I want to say that if you're new to this YouTube channel or you're trying to figure out what you should be doing to get your ex back and you're trying to learn if you even have a chance in your specific circumstance, probably the smartest thing for you to do is actually stop by our website www.exboyfriendrecovery.com or take our ex recovery chances quiz that can be found at exboyfriendrecovery.com. Now if you're watching this on YouTube, taking that free quiz is super easy to do. All you have to simply do is look in the description link below this YouTube video and click on the link you see there. It will take you directly to the quiz where you can fill it out and get an easy answer on what you should be doing going forward and overall what your chances look like in your specific situation. All right, so let's get you back to the video. Thing number two, time must absolutely pass. So regret ultimately is about missed opportunities. And I guess also a little bit about self-loathing, feeling bad for yourself. But most of the time, regret boils down to missed opportunities. Now, the interesting thing about missed opportunities is there is sort of a question embedded in the concept of a missed opportunity, or at least a fact that kind of people just gloss over. And that fact is time has to pass in order for us to feel we've had a missed opportunity. And this is something that is so difficult for a lot of our clients to accept because more often than not, they're very anxious. They want to fix things right away. So when we tell them to do something like a no contact rule where they are giving time to their ex to kind of chill out, but also giving themselves time to outgrow their ex, they don't really jive so well with that at first because they are in the I need to fix everything right now mode when they should be in the, you know what, I'm gonna give my ex some time so that I can get my stuff together before I talk to them again. Time absolutely must pass if you want your ex to regret their decision of breaking up with you. Thing number three, your ex must romanticize the past. So one of my favorite videos that I've done recently has to be the video I did on understanding why avoidant exes approach life the way they do. A lot of times we're left reeling trying to understand why is my ex acting this specific way? Why aren't they responding to my text messages? Why do they seem so uninterested when we talk? And the truth is, if you have an avoidant ex, the way their mind works is different than the way your mind works. For example, a lot of times with avoidant exes, they have to feel like you have gotten over them completely until they feel comfortable romanticizing the past. So this kind of embeds with the last concept of time passing, but if you don't allow your ex to have any time that passes, guess what? they're not gonna to begin to romanticize the past because all they'll think is, wow, that girl is crazy, or wow, that guy is way too insecure. So instead, pulling back is one of the smartest things that you can do because that is what allows them to feel safe and missing you. Thing number four, feeling regret is all about highlighting the consequences. Making an ex regret via consequences really boils down to opportunity cost. Your ex, when they break up with you, is making a calculated decision that they can do better than you. But when they do try to do better than you, they're only going to regret their decision if they look back and see all of the things that they're missing out on. This is why we believe social media is one of the best ways to highlight this opportunity cost. You're making them realize, hey, your stock went way up, and their stock went way down. Now, the hard part for a lot of people is they're taking it on faith. They're not getting an immediate feedback result when they post something cool on social media or something awesome that happened to them at work because guess what? The ex is broken up with them and you have this internal narrative in your head thinking that there's no way that ex would ever want you back when in the reality is a little different. So how do you highlight the consequences? Like I said, anytime you're doing something fun, post it. Make it part of your social media patterns of posting. Now, this doesn't to say you need to rub it in your ex's face. No, you should do it naturally and organically so this doesn't happen. But the thing is, you need to create a narrative for your ex. Hey, this is kind of what you're missing out on. You need to show, don't tell. Thing number five. Embody the secure attachment style. All right, this is gonna be the last thing really quick. Secure attachment styles are the absolute most important thing that I can tell you to do in making an ex regret missing you. 
Now, why? Attachment styles at their core are teaching us how we react or act in relationships on a romantic level. There's usually four main types of attachment styles. You have secure attachment style, anxious, avoidant, and fearful. Now, ultimately, there's only one attachment style that is considered healthy, and that's the secure attachment style. Anxious attachment styles are people who go through a break and immediately want to fix things. Avoidant attachment styles are people who want to be independent and want to run away from problems. Fearful attachment styles are kind of a combination of both anxious and avoidant attachment styles. But what's interesting is there's almost this gravity that always revolves around a secure attachment style. So a lot of times an ex will not regret their decision to break up with you if you have not changed your anxious or avoidant tendencies. And this is a hard pill to swallow because I'm not telling you you need to change your personality. What I'm telling you is you need to change the feedback your ex is getting when they talk to you or they view your social media profile, things of that nature. The more you can embody what a secure attachment style is, basically feeling okay with losing your ex forever and being like, you know what, I loved them, I care about them, but I'll be okay in the end. Not obsessing about if they're dating someone new or meeting someone new. You get what I'm saying here. The secure attachment style is, like I said, gravity for the, all the other ones. It grounds them and they feel kind of attracted to it. All right, I wanna thank you so much for making it to the end of this YouTube video. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you stop everything you're doing and click that subscribe button and the like button so that we can get featured more on these YouTube videos. And also, if you haven't, make sure you take the X Recovery Chances quiz that I talked about kind of in that middle third of this video. Now, taking the quiz is super simple. All you have to do is simply look in the description below this YouTube video and click the link you see there. I'll see you next time.